with lipsticks and Anissa and this is our pride edition collab so she will be covering pride friendly pride worthy makeup and I'm here to showcase this beautiful rainbow hair for pride so definitely check out Anissa's channel down below where she showcases her makeup skills I love her looks especially her like simple glam looks they look awesome check out her channel down below one more thing before I start this tutorial I really want to shout out my girl Sheena. So Sheena just started her online beauty supply store. Black owned and woman owned. It's called Royalty DNA Beauty. I'm going to put the Instagram right here on the screen. So Royalty DNA Beauty basically aims to sell affordable wigs and hair extensions for us. Kind of like FUBU, for us, by us type of thing. Sheena, AKA Queen She, she's also a YouTuber, so I'll link her channel down below as well. And her beauty supply store just launched like two days ago, June 15th. So definitely check out the link to her beauty supply store down below. I love supporting black businesses and I'm really excited for what Sheena has in store. What's different about Sheena's beauty supply store is that every sale on that site helps send a young kid, a young child, off to college, which I think is really cool. So definitely check her out. All of her information will be down in the description box below. So we gotta support our own, y'all. So check the description box. All right, let's get into this review. Happy Pride, everyone. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I celebrate Pride seven days a week, 365. Probably mentioned that I do have a girlfriend. We've been together for about two years and we celebrate Pride actually in Miami. We celebrated it here in DC twice. World Pride is actually gonna be in New York this year, but we are actually missing it, unfortunately. We are actually missing World Pride this year because we will be in Thailand for two weeks. More on that later. So, yeah, I'm like Pride everywhere, all June. So, to celebrate, I wanted to showcase a colorful wig because you know, the Pride flag is rainbow, rainbow colors. This wig, which I'm super happy about, I was wearing it like for the past three weekends. This wig is actually by Zuri Sis and her name is Kate. Hey Kate. So general specs on Kate. She does have two combs here in the front, a comb in the back and adjustable straps. She is a lace part wig. No, she did not come with any lace to cut, but the lace parting did end up looking really good. It was hard to blend, so I did have to cut a very deep V here, and I had to, you know, glue it down with my got to be glue gel. And once I did that, it looked a lot more natural. So here are the pros about Kate. First of all, I am loving this rainbow color. Loving, loving, loving it. You have blue, you have pink, you have a little bit of indigo here. And then behind you have this really oh snap, my earring. Then behind you have this really pretty blue teal color. I would love a kinky curly wig just this color. So please, if you guys have any recommendations on a kinky curly wig that is this color, pass it along because I've been looking. Let me give you a quick 360 of the wig. So this is the hair to the front. Let me tell you the pros of Kate. First pro is definitely the color. I don't know of any kinky hair wigs that come in these multitude of colors. This is the Aurora color. I, I absolutely love it. Normally I'm not into the whole two-tone thing that's been going on with wigs, like one side is pink, one side is blue. But I like the way they did it on this wig where it's like streaks a little bit and it, it, you know the colors are somewhat blended together. I like that a lot better. So the color I really like is great. The second thing I like about this wig is the texture. It's definitely yakky, it's kinky. I would describe it as if you braid your hair overnight, natural hair, and you let it out the next day, 
this is probably what the result would be like if you braided your hair after a blowout. So this is what it looks like. And I did brush this hair out a little bit. Normally the curls came like this, but after brushing out, it looks more like this. So loving the color, loving the texture. I would say the main con of this unit is probably the parting, the, the lace parting. The space itself was good. It was just very hard for me to blend, hence why I had to cut the V in the parting space. But once I did that, the wig was good to go. Oh, one more thing I forgot. This wig was cheap as hell. Literally less than $15 on wigtypes.com. Kid you not. You know, when it comes to coloring hair, people spend a lot of money on colored wigs, on coloring hair themselves. But for a synthetic unit to cost less than $15 and it comes in these multitude of colors that are trending right now, I think that's a really good deal. I really do. So, I would advise you check her out. I know this style is not going to be for everyone, but it is for me and hopefully it'll be for someyone out there watching. So let me know your thoughts on this wig in the comments in the comments down below. Do you like the colors? Would you prefer it in a number two color or number four color? How do you feel about the parting space? Would you wear it out for Pride or maybe another festival? Because I would wear this to another festival too, like Afropunk or a concert. I would definitely wear this wig. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Yeah, I don't have much else to say. I've been rocking this hair. Yes, it does tangle a bit, but it's kinky synthetic hair, y'all. Not much else I expect from that, especially at the nape area. Is tangling but I can easily brush that out no problem and I think the more you wear it even the more natural the hair looks I just love it y'all so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I will see you all in the next video bye